Don't forget to fill out all sections of the booking form, including your contact details and the purchase order number. Giving all the information enables bookings to be made much faster. Sarah Ty Ford, Equalities Manager and Lead for the Interpreting and Translation Framework. How to book an interpreter or arrange a translation. The process, the booking form and who to contact. Guide for staff in children's services, CET, business services and governance services. Welcome to this translation and interpreting guide. Councils and organisations who deliver services for us have a duty under the Equality Act 2010 to provide our services inclusively. For more information on this, see our Introduction to Interpreting Guide. Step-by-step -step guide, how to book. There will be more information on each step in this guide. Number one, go to the translation and interpreting services intranet page. Two, identify what type of service you need. Three, complete all sections of the booking form. Four, send the form to the providers in rank order, starting with the top one. Five, if the first choice cannot fulfill the booking, send the form to the next provider and so on. Six, the provider will confirm the booking and costs. One, go to the internet page, translation and interpreting services. Two, identify which service you need. In-person spoken interpreting, for example, Arabic or Polish face-to-face, -face. remote spoken interpreting via telephone or video, non-spoken interpreting, for example, British Sign Language or BSL face-to-face, -face. remote non-spoken interpreting, for example, BSL via video, or translation, transcription, braille, easy read, or other written services. Three, complete the booking form. There is a link to the booking form on each interpreting and translation intranet page. Three, continued. Complete the booking form, service user details. Notes. Provide information about the service user to help providers find the best match and to improve accessibility. For spoken languages, try to find out the specific dialect, as this may vary even within countries. Any documents for translation must be in word format and attached with the booking form. Three, continued. Complete the booking form when and where. Notes. Give as much notice as possible before the meeting so an interpreter can be found. If you're booking a series of sessions on particular dates, make this clear on the booking form. Add time onto the meeting so that you can brief the interpreter beforehand on the meeting purpose and content. Three continued. Complete the booking form, DBS checks. All interpreters will be DBS checked to enhanced level, so only add information here if the interpreter must be checked to a higher level, e.g. enhanced with barred lists. You must explain why this is needed. Three, continued. Complete the booking form. Other relevant information. This may include information about what the meeting is for, other people who will be present, and any specific needs, such as mental health issues or learning disabilities. Please note that the form must be completed in full to ensure that it is processed. Four, send the fully completed form to providers in order. Use the contact list for providers of the service you need from the intranet page. Send the fully completed booking form to the highest ranked provider first. Providers were evaluated on price and quality. 
If they cannot meet your needs, then move on to the next provider and so on until the request is met. If no framework providers can fulfil the requirements, then you can book through a provider outside of the framework. Four, continued. Send the fully completed form to providers in order. Remember, face-to-face -face spoken interpreters must be booked well in advance. Allow at least 10 working days before a booking wherever possible. British Sign Language and Deaf Relay interpreters are in short supply nationally. Give as much notice as you can or consider whether the meeting could happen via video. Five, the provider will confirm the booking. The provider will confirm the cost and send other details to you. They may need to contact you to confirm or seek more information about the booking. If you will not be available for any time before the booking, you must provide a contact for someone who is aware of the booking and can respond quickly in your absence. Out of hours or emergency bookings. Some providers have specific contact details for out of hours or emergency bookings. Check the provider contact list for these. Contact the provider, giving as much information as you can. Note that prices are different for out of hours, depending on time and day. Video or phone interpreting may need to be used if possible. Summary of the booking process. One, go to the translation and interpreting services intranet page. Two, identify what type of service you need. Three, complete all sections of the booking form. Four, send the form to the providers in rank order, starting with the top one. Five, if the first choice cannot fulfill the booking, send the form to the next provider and so on. Six, the provider will confirm the booking and costs. Checklist. Be clear about what kind of service you need, spoken or non-spoken, face-to-face or remote, or written translation. Allow plenty of time for the booking to be made, especially for British Sign Language, Deaf Relay and Rare Languages. Make sure you have given all of your contact details. Complete all sections of the booking form, including the purpose of the meeting, your contact details and relevant information about the client. Attach documents for translation with the form in Word format only. Make sure there is always someone available who can answer questions about the booking if you're away from work. Using qualified and trained interpreters and translators reduces barriers to communication and helps our residents get the support they need. There are links below to more guides to answer all your interpreting and translation questions and use the internet pages for more information on bookings. Thank you.